Welcome back to Shabby Shack Studio, friends. Today we are celebrating World Sleep Day with a fun bit of storytelling that I created uh, expressly for this occasion. I really love the idea of celebrating World Sleep Day because if you are like me, and I know a lot of you are, um, you may suffer from insomnia at, from time to time. I find that, um, I don't know if it's maybe that I'm a creative or maybe that it's I'm a mum, um, but I do find that the older I get, the more I tend to suffer from insomnia. I have trouble just getting my brain to just turn off and to stop worrying about all the things or thinking about all the things. And I have to really actively focus um, on not thinking, which seems weird to focus on not thinking, but I have a few strategies um, and I've read a lot about it and I focus when I read a book before I fall asleep. I focus when I wake up at night time on that storyline um, and not on thinking about all the things that are going on in my life. Not worrying about children or conversations I haven't had or work that is yet to be completed or whatever it is. Um, but for me, I find that works. Um, I would really love if you two are an insomniac, whether that's part-time or something that you suffer from all of the time. I would really love if you would share below any of your tips and tricks on how you kind of best handle your insomnia. This piece of art comes, as many of my artworks do, purely from my imagination. They're not, there isn't something that I've seen online or something that I've copied in any way. It, I was gifted these lovely products that you can see in the top left corner there, Sleep Soundly uh, from Buckley Phillips. And the first thing that I thought of was this cute little saying that um, I used to hear when I was young, uh, sweet dreams, love and fishes. Now, I'm not sure if I'm remembering it wrong from when I was young and it was supposed to be sweet dreams, love and wishes, which does make sense. But um, I always heard love and fishes and I actually went on um, when I had children and um, for all the years of my life saying sweet dreams, love and fishes. And it's just, um, I find it adorable and just um, a little bit fun, which is kind of indicative of me and my personality. I like to be, I'm a person that talks to their dog, that has a silly voice, that talks to the babies in all the sweet little rhymes and um, those kind of things. Um, try not to take things too seriously because obviously life in itself is, is enough to cope with. So I try to remember my sense of humour and um, I have my ways of um, coping with children and family and husbands and all of those things and, and this is my way. So for me, this piece of artwork um, came 100% from those words. Um, and if you have been here a minute, you would know that um, words inspire me no end and uh, often the inspiration for my creative endeavors. So um, of course I started sketching this, as I said, purely from my imagination. So um, my daughter, when she looked at it, she said, is this me? Um, so probably is a little bit indicative of my daughter and just kind of her, I imagining her sleeping. I did not do anything weird and stalkerish and follow my teenage daughter upstairs and draw her while she was sleeping. So um, if you are following along and I've inspired you to create something for uh, World Sleep Day, then please know that it was purely from my imagination and nothing weird. Um, but she does have a rattan bed some like, somewhat like this and I do have rattan shades somewhat like this in my, um, in my studio. So I guess it's all little bits and pieces that... Um, that warm my heart. I am an interior designer um, among my list of uh, credentials. Um, so for me, it was that kind of rattan and soft boho beachy vibes and um, something that's peaceful and calming to the plants and the, um, the crummy hanger, etc. It, it all just kind of came to me as um, it worked beautifully together and worked really nicely with the thought that I had around World Sleep Day. So um, I knew immediately I wanted to draw uh, a girl or a lady asleep in a sleep mask with her eyelashes so that sleep masks will have um, the closed eyelashes on them when they're done. 
and I knew I wanted to have a goldfish in the bowl in the matching sleep mask. It, it, that just appeared in my mind um, as soon as I started thinking about what I would create um, for World Sleep Day. So this has been a little bit of a process in the making because I always think through what I want to do first, it kind of just comes on, <laughs> probably why I don't sleep. Um, it plays around in my mind for a while while I'm doing a hundred million other jobs and um, whether that's as a mum or as a creative and it kind of brews and, and becomes and then I find time to grab a sketchbook and some pencils and I sit down and this this comes out on paper. So I have shared a little bit of the sketching with you um, as I created this piece. Um, I do create this 100% with you otherwise I watercolour it, I adjust it. Um, I play with ideas, I ink it. So this is really a real time design piece that you could create along with me quite comfortably. Um, I don't speed through it at all. Um, I do kind of move along in, in parts that I think would be a little bit boring, but um, for the most part, this is 100% um, real time. And you can see me kind of thinking through ideas as I go. And so I hope that you will grab some watercolours or even markers, whatever it is that um, sets your creative heart on fire. And maybe this is even something that you can sit down and do if you're not sleeping. Who knows? Um, but I hope you will create along with me and let me know um, if you two are in an insomniac. Um, any tips and tricks that you use that help you sleep?
Now you all know that I do not do a practice run of anything I create. I create it live with you right here and on, and on the tube and we do this together. So this rattan um, lampshade was one of those pieces that um, it just went through lots of ugly stages. I uh, started creating it and then I wasn't sure how it was going to come together. It's not something that I have painted before um, as such. So I was playing with the lines and how I wanted it, how I was going to get it to look like it's woven, etc. So it, it was quite a process and there's a fair bit of me kind of going back and forth to this. So I wanted to get that kind of weave in, some colour, but I go back and add lots of shading and it's not until I really get to the end and I ink in the weave that um, I love it. So bear with me if you're thinking it's looking a bit like a blob or it's not working, but by the end I actually really loved how the shade looked um, and I think I managed to capture the weave on it quite well. It's one of those things that is difficult to paint and capture because let's face it you can see through the white weave to the other side so um, there's a lot of detail in there um, but you will see me kind of creating bits and pieces as I go along. I'm just feeling my way, I have every intention to come back and layer on colour and add more detail as I go. So there's lots and lots of watercolour and playing and process in this hour. So it's something that you can, can of course um, speed on or, or um, skip if, it, if that's something you prefer. But if you want to paint along with me and have a little bit of fun, then by all means leave it in real time and um, let's get this piece created together. You will notice there's lots of um, lots of stop and start when I'm creating a piece from scratch like this because 
I am adding bits in and I'm re removing pencil lines that I don't want to be showing through when I watercolour. So I add a lot of detail in to begin with and then I'll remove bits and pieces as I go. Um, most pencil lines just disappear um, when I'm painting. So, um, and you'll find the same. So don't get too bogged down. Just remember to keep uh, light pressure on that pencil, not to be too heavy at all. Um, otherwise you will damage your paper and even if you try to erase it, it won't erase because it'll have an indentation in the paper. Um, so you will actually see me come back in and add extra lines in and extra guides and more detail um, very much as I go. Um, I have my paint palette here on the left but I do zoom in on a few of the details um, at different times so the paint palette will disappear a little bit um, further on um, so don't get too worried about that. A lot of my colours mix together and I let them um, muddy up as I go. Remember too that colours that can look a little bit um, too vibrant or too strong when you first lay them down, do remember that they're going to lighten by at least 30% um, as your paint dries. So you're going to probably need to come back in and add some extra oomph, otherwise they're going to look washed out and rather, um, rather sad. So don't get too worried if you're thinking it's a bit bright. Um, you have the option to, co to go in and remove some of that by just adding a little bit of extra water or, or picking up some of the colour with a nice clean piece of paper towel, don't forget that. Um, or you could just let it dry up and see how you go because you can actually remove some of that even when it's dry. Um, but you'll be surprised how much lighter those paints dry.
I hope that you get to see in this real time video just how much time I'll, I'll spend playing with colour and adding detail in. It really isn't um, a perfect, there's like there's no rules, there's no perfect plan when I start a piece. Um, I really work to get lost in it so sometimes when I first start it takes me a little bit to really kind of settle in and then just feel my way and stop overthinking it. So again, probably one of the things that um, stopped me from resting so well at night time is just getting my mind to shut off and let, the, um, let that creative part of me take over.
Another reason why I'm tending to skip around from one part to the other is obviously that I'm as I'm working in real time I'm trying not to put my hand down on paint that is already wet and obviously that would affect my control if um, I can't have my hand in a comfortable position. So I tend to skip back and forth between pieces um, to give myself and give the paint a chance to dry. Um, also being conscious of whether or not I'm adding wet into wet or wet into dry um, to get a little bit of extra um, oomph or a little bit of extra dimension so that you can see on the, on the pillows. Um, for example, I went back in at the end wet on dry to get some extra, um, just some shading, etc. So it wasn't going to all kind of wash away as much when it dried. My sweet little sleeping goldfish is starting to shape, take shape here. Um, couldn't resist putting a little castle in the background um, in some coloured rocks um, at the bottom. It's funny, it's not something I've, I've painted before, but I really enjoy creating this little goldfish. So I think I need to do more stories like this. Um, let me know what you think. Um, I normally do lots of florals and, and botanicals and things like that. So let me know if you think that I should create more uh, kind of little whimsical stories like this.
okay so I've almost got all my color on there now remembering that I am coming in with ink so I just wanted to have um, just a bloom of color like for her hair um, it, the details her curls that are laying over the top of the blankets all that detail is going to be added in in ink at the end um, and I'm just adding some shadows here on the uh, rattan bed head too so I do come back in a few times and add um, little bits as I go um, right through to um, some depth on the base of the planter so you'll see that at the very very end um, I came back in once it was all dry um, and with fresh eyes the next day so this one was actually created over three days I added the first detail in um, and then left everything to dry because it was just no it wasn't comfortable to um, put my hand down so I, I, I added a lot in here there and everywhere and then just left it and then the second day I came in and then started adding more detail as well um, the third day I came back and added just the tiniest little bit of detail here and there so looking at it in the morning um, I will apologize or it's up to you whether or not you like it but at the end of the video you will see that the sun in my studio is beautiful and it's not something that I notice when I'm creating um, because I have got the work I'm creating on lit but it, there's quite some shadow at the end so hopefully it's not too hard for you to see but the shadows in my studio in the afternoon are just beautiful and the light's gorgeous but it does create a little bit of a shading at the end so again let me know what you think. Okay, just coming back in at the end with my trusty kneadable eraser what would I do without this eraser I don't know um, so just coming in and removing lines that don't need to be there um, adding in some additional pencil lines and guides um, that may have disappeared a bit along the way 
and then picking up my favorite pigment liners and adding in the details there. This is when you can really see um, a lot of the details start to emerge and I'll pick up that sweet little ruler that I have, my trusty favorite that's clear so I can see through um, to what is below. Um, and I do get a little bit more particular about some lines, say on the, the bed head. Um, but again, the color is below is meant to look loose and soft and flowing. It's supposed to have a perfect imperfection. So hopefully um, this is a style that you love um, and that you're having a bit of fun and it's helping you kind of free up your mind um, to create with a little bit less kind of guidelines and stringency and just relaxing um, while you create this piece. Although I've picked up my ruler here, you can see that I'm still keeping my style very loose um, and, and fluid. Um, the rattan weave would be relatively evenly spaced. Having said that, part of the um, whimsical love and, and uh, the feeling of a natural material is that it's perfectly imperfect the way it is. So I know that then that line, um, it looks like I added an inked in line that um, that doesn't match over the top of the watercolor. I did that on purpose 
um, it is designed to have that imperfection. Um, to me, the watercolour guidelines that I did very loosely were purely that, they were loose. Um, it's definitely a very um, a whimsical sketch, something that's fun um, and it's supposed to bring out that feeling of nature and um, that kind of soft dreaminess of this image and celebrating what we are which is World Sleep Day. So it's supposed to have that imperfection. Um, again, if it's something that bothers you, something that you would want to have more exact, by all means measure it, have it perfect. But to me, and, and this is my style, I purposely ensure lines are not 100% even when I'm using a ruler, I use it as in a sketchy way. So um, just a little hint on even if you're using a ruler, this one's got little divots and marks out of it too because I use it with, um, with my cutting tools. Um, it's still exactly the, the piece that I pick up and go to every time because I don't want anything that's so perfect to me that's that would take away some of the fun of my art, some of the fun of my creativity. Um, I love that pieces that I create have um, a life and, a, and a, a freedom all of their own. I hope that you can see um, my thought process as I'm creating here. Like this is the mattress and I just decided it needed to have a little floral pattern on the side. It's not perfect. I, I wanted to have, then I decided to have a little um, kind of band or beading or along the edge there. But again, it's not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to be something that was completely from my imagination. And it's coming to life before your eyes as well as mine. So, um, this, the style on, my, on this channel and the style of mine is a perfect imperfection. It's not supposed to have everything completely in perspective and you know exactly how I would imagine it would be. It is supposed to be fun and freeing and and whimsical and and you know even this one a little bit fun and childish. So I hope that you're enjoying this style as well and. Um, because it is very much the style on this channel and it's very much my style. So, um, and it is something that I'm really creating with you. I'm, you can see me stopping and thinking as I create. Um, so I hope that gives you license too as well and to kind of free up how her hair would be flowing over her little sleep mask. And it's messy and tousled and, um, and she's lost in sleep, which is, which is a wonderful place to be. Hopefully you sleep um, really, really well. You should give these products a try actually, actually because um, I've been using the Pulse Point Roller that you can see there, which is the long slim one, and you can see that sitting on her little bedside table next to her fish there. Um, and I have actually been putting this on my Pulse Points and I do find that it's helping me sleep. It's helping me rest and stop thinking so much. So I'm not sure about you, but quite often when I do rest, I still find that I'm thinking, so I don't feel like I've rested when I wake up. It feels like I've been thinking or, or planning or, or trying to sort something out. And it's really um, difficult for me to wake in the morning and say, you know what, I just had this wonderful dreamless sleep or really restful night. So, um, and I did find that I was trying these products out, um, of course. Um, when I was approached to have them sent out to me, I thought, you know what, anything that's going to help me sleep is a great thing. Um, and Buckley Phillips stuff is all made here in Australia, which is fabulous. I love that it's a, um, a small business here in Australia. And the products are all essential oils um, and they really are designed to kind of remove that tension and help you rest. And, and the fragrances and the candles and things too are beautiful. Um, I have quite a sensitive um, sense for smell and I do find that I get migraines if things are really strong and I never find that happens when I'm when I light the candles so um, and they have such a wonderful range for Christmas and all year round so um, this was a, such a fabulous idea for World Sleep Day and it's certainly something that you should treat yourself um, if you are a insomniac like me.
here are those shadows for days I mentioned, that lovely afternoon sunlight starting to penetrate onto my work desk um, as I've gone back again to play with my shade. This turns out to be um, one of the things I love most in this sketch when I finally finish this. And I just started giving it some, um, some pen lines very gently to create that kind of woven feel. Um, and really quite enjoyed how this came out in the end. Don't worry if the shadows make it a little bit hard to see some of the detail. I do do a slow pan across the finished image at the end. Uh, so you'll be able to see all those details um, at the very end. But as you can see, again, these are no pencil lines, no guides. Uh, I'm in the zone now. I've really relaxed into the watercolor and the sketch and, and starting to really free me up and be able to just feel where I feel that line needs to go. Um, inking was something that I, I should mention, it was something that I found really scary at the beginning and it's something that a lot of people say to me that um, adding ink to their sketches feels really scary and it's something that they worry about, like they're going to make a mistake and then it's permanent, it's stuck there. But, and I did have that mindset to begin with, I will, I'm honest. Um, but I did find that this process ended up becoming a favorite part of my design process um, because I found that it freed me up to stop overthinking it. What will be, will be. Um, if I decide that I don't like a line, I'll just have to live with it or add something else in. I'll have to think outside the square. I'll have to um, allow myself not to be perfect. I don't know, it ended up being something that was good for my soul. So. I hope that you will take a risk and pick up your pens and just believe in your creative energy and your creative soul um, and allow yourself to be perfectly imperfect too. Going back in and adding some, um, some ink and detail to my little goldfish, my little sleeping goldfish, do you like little Z's? Um, and making their bowl just look a little bit more adorable and accent those rocks. Um, I even added a mobile phone to this one because it felt like when I was creating the bedside, like what else would go on there besides the fish and of course my, um, my bottles of sleep soundly to help me rest at night time and mine do in fact sit on my bedside. Um, and then a mobile phone because you know we're not supposed to have phones in the bedroom but let's face it most of us do me included probably one of the first things people are going to tell me to remove in order to sleep well um, I do try to mute it at night time I will be honest um, and I do try to read at night but yes yeah, sometimes it's tempting when you have your phone um, to be the first or last thing you look at in the morning and in the evening Okay, so I'm just outlining my bottles and I'm just going to add the word sleep to the nice, tall, slim one there at the end. And then I'm going to add in um, that sweet little quote, uh, sweet dreams, love and fishes. So I will add that in at the end.
to be aware as you're creating um, and your hand is brushing over your artwork that not only do you need to take care that you don't send your watercolors smearing across the page when they're still wet um, but your pencil lines will start to rub away um, so you can see that the quote that was there quite vibrantly um, when I first started has started to disappear a little bit so I will come back in and add some pencil lines so that's nice and, and clear and I do that with you too so um, if you are interested in how like my fonts and how I create, create my topography um, I'll do that with you and then we're going to ink it together in just a moment but first I've just added the last my finishing touches to my sweet little pillows and her the line of her forehead um, and all those little details creating like this really is it, it's fun especially if you allow yourself to not have to do anything in a particular order I do it as I feel you know as I feel it so it, I, I finish one little bit and I move on to the other and something else will catch my eye or I'll think wow I'm missing a line here or a line there so we really do create this together so I do hope that you feel that um, watching it um, from when I'm creating it um, I hope that you feel that you are in the studio here with me and that we really are um, sharing our, our creative process together. So isn't that light dreamy? I swear that is just the sun streaming through my sliding door into my studio in the afternoon and I totally didn't notice it. I, mean, I, was, I was creating and I was lost in the moment and I really didn't notice that it was shining on my book or that the shadows had changed. Um, I really was just lost in the, t in the moment and in the creativity of this piece. I was really enjoying it at this stage too, it didn't feel um, contrived or like I was working to finish this piece at all. It just felt fun and joyous, which is ex exactly how I think it looks. I think that this piece is 100% fun. It's not created for any other fun function except for today's video and, and to celebrate World Sleep Day. So I hope that you give yourself permission to create things just because without having to necessarily think of what they're going to become. I hope that you're not having to always create only to a client brief. Honestly, um, as a creative myself, and I mean, I'm a textile designer and all of those things, um, my best work honestly comes from when I don't have to follow a brief. Now, I was told this by other professionals. Um, many years you hear people say it, but honestly, when I go back and I look at pieces that I use to turn into textiles or pieces that are the most popular online or you know in my Redbubble store, those are the pieces that I created purely just for fun, that I heard the lyrics of a song or I was watching a movie and I picked up my sketchbook and I mean I created one which was a thousand yellow daisies from the Gilmore Girls and that was just like some stolen moments with my beautiful daughter and it was our fun thing to do and yet that was something that went that was insanely popular and continues to be popular. Um, but it was totally created for the fun of it. So, um, and I don't know, maybe that translates in the piece itself. Um, but whatever, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope that you had fun creating this today. Um, I hope you enjoyed our little storytelling from my imagination um, to celebrate World Sleep Day. Um, and I hope that whether or not you are a good sleeper who is out like a light the minute her head hits the pillow, um, or if, like me, sometimes you really struggle to just shush your busy mind and um, rest well, wherever you are this World Sleep Day, I wish you sweet dreams, love and wishes. Thanks so much.